Amiga DeVille uh, Calibre 861. This is how to wind uh, the watch, set the time and operate the chronograph. Uh, the crown on the side. I wind the watch by basically turning, rotating clockwise, rocking backwards and forwards. Eventually you'll find a natural stop at the end of the uh, mainspring. Um, this is the point you shouldn't go any further. I'm carrying on winding. And then if it suddenly goes very stiff, and then that's the point that the uh, the watch is fully wound. Uh, to set the time, pull the crown out. There's only one position on this crown, and then set the time as you would. Best to wind the hands always forward rather than backwards uh, to set the time. Um, push the crown home when you've done that. Um, in no normal circumstances you wouldn't run the chronograph, you leave the chronograph um, not running. Uh, the dial on the top, uh, the, on the left there, that's the sub-seconds, um, that will uh, continuously run, that's called the continuously continuous seconds. Uh, the other two dials are for elapsed minutes and elapsed hours, um, which operate when the chronograph indexes. Uh, to operate the chronograph you press the top right button firmly um, it feels like it's not going to do anything and then you push it hard home and then it suddenly clicks and it'll operate and you can see the uh, chronograph elapsed seconds hand running around there um, to stop the chronograph you press it again same button and then the time can be read off uh, and then to reset you press the bottom right button and then the chronograph hand will then flip back straight to 12 o'clock again and that's it.